for five hundred. Right, right. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, what, what, what is um, um fifteen hundred? Then you got sixteen, nineteen. When our people came to America, the Caribbean, all these different places, right? Let me ask you a question. Why did that happen to those people? Why did that happen to those people? Sometimes it's us cause that to happen to us. He said, "Us, you know what? You probably right about that. We did, but is that in the Bible? Is that in the Bible? No, it's, it's not." Let's find out. Let's find out. You said it's not about me. Let's find out, right? Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Come on. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Bible just said, if we didn't do what God commands us to do, curses were going to overcome and overtake us, right? Yep. So is the curse a good thing or a bad thing? So, bad thing. So what now? Bad thing. Bad thing. What you say, brother? Bad thing. Bad thing. Why you don't want to curse on you, right? Because yep. you got blessings and yep. you got curses, right? Yep. I want to be blessed. I want to be cursed. I want to be blessed, blessed too, my brother. Yep. But the Bible says if we don't keep his commandments, Amen. we are going to be cursed. Yes. Let's find out a curse. That's right. Let's find out a curse. That's why we got ten commandments. We got more than ten, big brother. We yep. got more than ten, but I'm going to go over one yep. in that in that ten, though. Yep. Yep. So let's go back to this. Yep. Let's go back to this, right? Yep. That slave yep. trade. Yep. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. Come on. Verse 68, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Bible said we're going to go back into Egypt. What were the children of Israel? I'm getting real specific. What were the Israelites doing in Egypt the first time? What were the Israelites or the children of Israel doing in Egypt the very first time we was there? What were we because doing? you know the Egyptians, what they usually do? What they did? You remember when King Pharaoh usually... Uh-huh. What, what, what did the Pharaoh do? Huh? What did the Pharaoh do? Evil. Evil? What kind of evil? Oh, different kind. Give us, you know, you know what he did? He did the firstborn and everything like that. He did that, yes sir. What else he did? What, did what, what, what else did he do? Hmm? Why did Moses have to lead the children of Israel out through the Red Sea? They was escaping what? They was escaping Pharaoh. For what? Because of the, 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 come on, we the, come the on. bad stuff he was doing to our people. Yeah. Slavery. We was in slavery in Egypt. We was in captivity in Egypt, right? Yeah, because, right? because they used slaves to build the pyramid and stuff like that. Some of them, yes. So let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what he did. Give me give me answer to 1 and 18. I want to show y'all what he did in Egypt. Because I'm making that correlation because my man right, right? We came over here in slavery. I want to make that correlation of what we did in Egypt also, right? Come on, y'all stay with me. Y'all with me? I'll pray. Come on. Verse 13. Come on, 13. Verse 13. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor uh -huh. and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage uh -huh. and mortar and in brick uh -huh. and in all manner of service in the field uh -huh. all their service wherein they have made them serve was with rigor was it what with rigor now don't that sound familiar how the Egyptians had the children of Israel serving with rigor in all manner of service then we do the same thing when we came over here to America the exact same thing, right? Exactly. So let's jump over. The exact same thing. Jump over. Go back to uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Slay us. Slay us. Right. Come on. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Bible said we're going to go back into Egypt again. But it's going to be different this time. Read again from the top again. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. With what? With ship. So the Bible said we'll go back into that same condition, back into that captivity. What? With ships. Ships. How do we come over here to this side of the world? Ships. ships on the bottom of cargo slave ships. What we reading? We reading the Bible. And the reason why that happened, remember the reason why it happened? Because we broke God's laws. We broke his laws. Come on, Kiri. By the way, wherever I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So we're going to never see the Egyptian slavery again. We're going to be a new kind of slavery. We ain't going to see that one again. But over here in America, over here in the Caribbean, and South America, and Brazil, and Guatemala, all these different places, our people served as slaves Egyptian style captivity come on and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women and no man shall buy you so what are we reading brown brothers we're reading the bible and remember why that happened it's for breaking God's laws now when you first came up here my man you said that you were Jamaican but 
in the beginning of this book, it don't say this happened to Jamaicans. Uh -uh. It don't say it happened to black folks. It don't say it happened to Negroes. Uh -huh. It say it happened to a certain group of people. Yep. And I'm gonna give you that name. I'm gonna give you that name. Give me the all one and one. Because that's the name they've been given to us. Puerto Ricans, Jamaicans, Americans. We got all that in slavery. All that in slavery. That's not our true biblical name. Let's get it. Come on. Black man Dude, was come the on. first people to inherit the earth. Yeah, the whole world is made for us, my brother. But not those black people, but for God's chosen. And I'm going to give you his name. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto all who? All Israel. So who is Moses speaking to? Israel. To Israel, right? So we just read in Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68, history that lines up with our history, right? So what that make us? What is our name, brother? Who are we? Who are we? Israel. We are the Israelites. Israel. Yes, sir. We are the Israelites. Right. That's who we are. So don't say you Jamaican no more, my brother. That's right. Don't never say that no more. You are an Israelite. You are one of God's chosen, my brother. So, but in being Israel, in being Israel is a very heavy responsibility that come to y'all. Because just being God chosen is not just a free gift as Christianity say. Give me do the wrong but at 10 and 12. You know, know what I want? 10 12, yeah. yeah. It's a very very heavy responsibility that comes to us, right? Because remember, when the slavery, all this oppression, all this right here happened for breaking God's laws. Yeah. So what we want to start doing, we got to start keeping God's laws. Come on, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Come on. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Uh -huh. To keep the commandments of the Lord. What we gotta do? To keep the commandments of the Lord. Uh -huh. And his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. For what? For thy good. Because I don't know about y'all because all this slave, all this oppression, that's evil. I don't want the evil on my people. Right. So what we gotta do? We gotta start keeping God's commandments, big brothers. Right. We gotta start keeping God's commandments. We gotta start knowing who we are. We gotta start knowing who we are because we can't let what we learn in our schools from our oppressors being out here and go down to our kids. Right. Yes. So we gotta we gotta really wash our brains with this Bible, right? So let me show y'all some of this Bible, right? I'm gonna give y'all let me give y'all some laws. Because you you brought up the Ten Commandments, right? Let's go to the Ten. Now the Ten is basically an umbrella of all the other laws in the Bible, right? Because you got laws, statutes, and commandments, right? So let's get let's get this one right here. Let me ask y'all a question. What is today? What is today? What's special about today? What's special about today? It's a Sabbath. It's the oh my my man is cooking with gas. It's the <laughs> Sabbath day. It's the Sabbath day. So let's read it. Let's read for everybody edification. Man, I'll pray. My man in the spirit. Read it. Come on. Exodus chapter twenty and verse eight. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Uh -huh. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, uh -huh. but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it thou shalt not do any work. So the Bible says today is holy. Above all other days, right? Today is holy because you got two things: you got holy and you got profane. Every day can't be holy, right? No. So on this day, special things that you have to do. It's special things that you cannot do, right? So let's get into some things that you cannot do first, right? And today being holy is something that you're not supposed to do. Give me Nehemiah chapter ten, verse thirty-one. Nehemiah ten thirty-one, because just to say today the Sabbath day, being holy, just knowing it, but it's special things you got to do behind this day to keep this day holy. You you follow me, my brother? You follow me? All oh, praise. Come on. Nehemiah 10, 31. Nehemiah 10, 31. Hey, did you, hey, hey, my brother. Hey, my brother, did you get the, um, you were talking about you for more, right? Did you understand what we were bringing out about the curses and everything and how we ought to choose Israelites? All oh, praise. Come on. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. And if the people of the land bring where or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. Uh, on the and if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy of them. What, what we want to do? We not buy of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day, and that we will leave the seventh year in exact exaction of every debt. So it's no buying or selling the day, brothers. It shouldn't be. All this should be closed. All of what you see should be shut down. It should be no buying or selling the day. Even in your personal business, you shouldn't be buying or selling the day. That's what keeping the Sabbath day holy goes into. Because I can't, I can't uh, not buy it every day, right? That's why he gave us six days to do all our work and all our labors, right? So today is a holy day unto the Lord. You shouldn't be going to that store today. You shouldn't be buying gas today. You should be preparing beforehand. Right. These are the laws of the Holy Sabbath that we have to do. Yep. Did you know that? Yep. Do you keep that? Awesome. Do you keep that? Yeah, because you know why? You want to go buy a sale today? 
Huh? You want to buy another day? Honest? Honest. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay, so you didn't know that. So no, ma maybe you know, it. but you just did it anyway. It. You gotta stop I'm doing it, brother. You, Look, you gotta stop doing that, big brother. Well, all prayer to the most high. Well, the reason. The reason why this happened, to go back to this, because the reason why this happened is for having that kind of thought process, right? We got to stop this, because as long as we are in the midst of sin, the Lord is going to keep afflicting us. Give me all Amos 3 and 1. Amos 3 and 1. We got to stop it. Once we know better, we got to do what? We got to do better. My man, my man. Once we know better, we got to do better, big brother. Come on, get that from me real quick. Come on. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. On. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, uh -huh. against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Ain't that heavy? God said, We only have he known of all the families of the earth. That would make us so special because he gave us his law of statutes and commandments. He gave us his law of statutes and commandments. We are special above any other nation upon the face of this earth. But like I say, it comes with heavy responsibility behind that. Come on. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquity. Hold on. So God says, so, so since I only know you of all the families of the earth, therefore I'm going to punish you for all of your, so I to you, your iniquities. Yeah. That's why we the only people who went through a transatlantic slave trade. That's why we the only people who got pictures of books, postcards of getting hung from trees. That's why we the only people who stay in the worst parts of any community that you will find. Right. I bet down in Jamaica, uh, in our Caribbean, no matter where, no matter where you from, we don't own nothing. Uh -uh. And even in Jamaica, right, you have, um, let me ask you a question. Who is the head of state of Jamaica? Right now. Right now. Who's going it? That's the prime minister, right? Yeah. But who is the head of state of Jamaica? <laughs> right now. You don't really know, right? Now, now I'm not I'm not sure they changed over to King Charles, yeah. but before Queen Elizabeth died, she was still the head of state right. of Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because she's the one. Right. In 1962. Mm -hmm. She used a sword and put it on Sir Ford's a gospel right here. Mm -hmm. Give us our independence. But give, give. But if y'all really, y'all really had independence with with the British Crown still be on y'all money. Would, would, would they still be the head of state yep. if they if they were really um free? Y'all yep. still had to pay taxes to the British. No. Hey, give me, let me show you something. Give me that, what that Matthew 17? Yeah. Give me that Matthew 17 because we are still not free as a people. No oh. matter if you think you have your own country, uh, we supposed to be free in here. Yes, it's for the brainwash. We still on the servitude to our oppressors. What that Matthew 17? Matthew chapter 17 and verse 24. And when they were come to a Capernaum, they that received tribute money came to Peter and said, Does not your master pay tribute? He said, Yes. And when he was come into the house, Jesus prevented him, saying, What thinkest thou, Simon, of whom of the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? So who do the king of the earth take taxes from? Who do the king of the earth take money from? Do they, do they take it from their own people? No. That's what the whole point of colonization goes into. Come on. Of their own children or of strangers? Are they own children or the strangers? So Christ as, like asking this question, are they own people or of other people, right? Come on. Peter said unto him, of strangers. Of other, other, other people, other, other nations, right? Come on. Jesus said unto him, then are the children free? They said, then are the children free? Because they are not. Because they do not take taxes of their own, but they take taxes of the people who they colonize. Right. So we are not free as a people. Now we are Africa, still in subjection. We are still in subjection. Right. South Africa. So what must we do, my brother? We got to start keeping God's commandments. Start, don't buy a sale today, brother. Let me ask you a question. Can you grow a beard on your face? Do you shave? Do you shave? Do you shave? That's all keeping us in slavery. That's all keeping these same people above us. Right. Give me that. You got that? You got it ready for me? Read that. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make bondage upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So the Bible says you shouldn't make bondage upon your head like me. I'm losing my hair, but I still keep my hair up there, right? I ain't shaving it all the way down. But it says you shouldn't shave off the corners of your beard either. Shouldn't shave off the corners of your beard either. You know what that is? You know what that's called in the Bible? What's that called? Honest. 
I ain't lied to you. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Let's get it. Let's find out what that's called. Because it's something you don't want to do. Yeah. Because remember we went into captivity for breaking God's laws, right? So let me get that. Give me first John. Give me first John all three and verse four. It's called it's, it's a word. Yeah. It's a three-letter word, right? Let's get that. I'm pretty sure you heard it millions of times throughout your life. Let's get that. First John chapter three, verse four. Let's find out what this called. Come on, my brother. Bam. Come on. First John chapter three and verse four. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. You call that sin, my brother. When you say your face, that's sin. That is sin. So you got to stop doing it. Why? Why are we the only people, right? When we shave our face, we get the razor bumps. We get all the ingrown hairs. Because the Lord tell you not to do that thing. Remember, he's going to punish us for all our iniquities. Because the law was given unto, unto us, my brother. So we got to start keeping that thing. It's good to know. I, I, I'll pray to the Most High. You know more than most, my brother. But you got to start keeping Keeping God's laws. Because if you don't keep God's laws, what's going to be your payment? What's going to be the payment for our people? What'd you say? I can't hear you. Punishment, punishment. Let's get it. Give me Romans 6 23. Romans 6 23. I want to make it plain. I want to make it clear. Y'all right. Y'all not wrong. But let's get the words of God. Let's see what God going to say to what the, the paycheck of sin is. Because you got to stop it. We got to stop. You can say, listen to me all day. But if you don't stop doing the sin, we all going to get that same judgment. Go, it goes to me, go ahead, to everybody out here, right? Come on. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. Is what? Is death. One more time. Is death. The wages of sin is death. I don't know if you missed it, here, bro. Did you, did you catch when we went over about the beard? Did you, did you catch that? I want my brother here, too. I want my brother to live, so I, I want him to hear it, too. Come on. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Come on. They shall not make bondage upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, uh -huh. nor make any cutting of their flesh. So the Bible says we should shave off the corners of our beard, my brother, because doing that is sin. Right. That's what we're going into. Doing that is sin. That made sense to you? It made sense, right? Because the only way for us to know God, the only way for us to even have a relationship with God is by keeping his commandments. That's the only way, my brother, because we can sit here and say, I believe in Jesus, I the blood of Jesus on me, all that different stuff, right? But if I'm not keeping the commandments of God, I don't know God. And that's what the Bible says. It's not me saying it. Give me that real quick. Uh, 1 John 2 and 4. Give me that real quick. We have to keep the commandments of God, y'all. We have to keep the commandments of God. Because that's the reason why we... Matter of fact, I don't want to talk to y'all. Y'all got any questions? Y'all got any questions? Right, I just don't want to talk at y'all. Come on. First John chapter 2 and verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keep him not, his commandment is a liar. It's a what? It's a liar, and the truth is not in him. Uh-huh. on it. But who? That's it. Uh, yeah. No, nah, you good. You get on that. You get on that. So whosoever, don't keep God's commandments and say they know God, it's a liar. It's a liar. So we got to start, come back and start keeping God's commandments, my brother. Because that's why all these atrocities, that's why what you've seen down on, on the riverfront happen, right? From us committing sin against the Most High God. Right. From us committing sin against the Most High God. Did y'all know that the Lord, matter of fact, did y'all know the Lord had a dress code for his children? The Lord got a dress code for his children, man. We are that special unto God. He gave us a dress code. So we have to start following it. Y'all see these brothers out here? I don't, and I'm not talking about these purpose service, right? Because even in our daily, even in our, once we go to work, uh, to the store, whatever, we have something on. I want, want y'all to catch it. Come on. Um, numbers 1538. Numbers 1538. That's what I want. We're going to go there. We're going to go there. So we keep it ready. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38 uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel And bid them that they make them fringes In the borders of their garment uh -huh. Throughout their generation Y'all say these brothers out here With the fringes in their clothes the, We got these fringes on the bottom of our garments The Bible says that God said I bid y'all to put fringes In the border of y'all garments How y'all doing sisters What we going over right now We just touched over who we are in the Bible That we are the Israelites And now we going over the dress code for the Israelites All right. So read that again Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their garment. Now, that's the reason why we got these fringes in the border of our garments. Come on. Throughout their generation. Come on. And that they put upon the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. You got a flag, my brother? 
Did you get a fly? It shall be unto you for a branch, uh -huh. that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So we got all these fringes on our clothes so we can remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. Everything that we've been going over, having a beard on your face, not buying, not selling today because when I got my fringes on, I know there's certain things I can't do. I can't be uh, trying to cheat on my wife. I can't be going to the strip club. I can't be going to the store on, on the Saturday because right. whoa, hold on, whoa. You know what? I'm God's chosen. You know what? I can't do that. Yeah. So get these on fringes, bill, bro. Good. You know you Israel and by keeping God's laws, but you gotta start doing what? Wow. Keeping God's wow. laws. What? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community.